You're about to learn from Madeline McKinnon of Natural Hormone Healing how to create a woman's moon elixir. My name is Malcolm Saunders from The Light Cellar and I have with me special guest expert Madeline McKinnon of Natural Hormone Healing and she's going to share with you how to create a woman's moon time elixir. Yeah, thanks for having me on here, Malcolm. Yeah. Uh, so what we're going to do today is you'll learn how to use all of these special herbs um, to blend up into a warm drink that's going to help you if you're experiencing really bad PMS symptoms and also menstrual cramping. So you can have this drink, start having it for best results about five days before your period starts every single day and you can have it on through your period to help you uh, just relieve those, that cramping, but it also tastes really delicious. And there's a lot of other benefits that I'd love to share. Totally. That's that's why I love the yeah. idea of an elixir, right? They can, mm -hmm. You can customize them to, you know, whatever your needs and situations are. And obviously here with you, we're focusing in on women's moon time. So yeah. let's, uh, let's start off. Typically, you're going to have a tea base that you can choose. Madeline has picked one out. We have uh, at the Light Cellar a fantastic tea called Women's Moon. And it's been uh, created, designed by Harmonic Arts uh, specifically for this. So Yeah, this is a great formula. It's a great blend. It tastes really good. It's not too strong in flavor. And it has some really great herbs. It has Vitex, which is known to be one of the only herbs that actually has been shown through research to increase progesterone. Progesterone is the main hormone during the luteal phase of your cycle. So that's the two weeks before you get your, your moon time. So the Vitex will help increase that to help relieve PMS symptoms. A lot of PMS symptoms are because of low progesterone. We also have a couple herbs that are really anti-inflammatory and anti-spasmodic that are gonna help you with cramping. And one of the tricks that I have for women who have really bad cramping is have these herbs that like cinnamon and ginger right a couple days before you get your period. This is gonna flood your body with anti-inflammatories and anti-spasmodic compounds that will really help you have a more of a pain-free experience during that time. Um, we also have ginger, cleavers, ladies mantle, rose petals. All of these are really amazing harmonizing women's herbs. So we have this um, just simmering. You just want to, you can steep it, but for the best results, you actually want to simmer it gently for about 10 minutes. And then Malcolm is going to put a cup of, we're going to do about two cups in here per serving. Uh, you can use more if you want, but we'll just fill up this and we'll put some other herbs in as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right, here we go. So just straining that through after it's had a nice good steep. So you can see the color, you can see all the properties. The hot water is brought right out of those herbs and now into our cup. Mm -hmm. So use any kind of blender that you have, um, Vitamix, Nutribolt, whatever it is, uh, we're just going ahead yep. straining that through. I even have some clients that are all on the road, like flight attendants, and they will still make their elixirs in a mason jar when they're traveling and just shake it up. Right. It might not be as frothy. The reason why, one of the reasons I and so many people love elixirs is because they are kind of like a latte, really. They're the same. We're going to add fat to this elixir, so when we blend it here, it's going to be similar to a latte you get from Starbucks, but right. dairy-free and full of healing, nourishing herbs. Yeah, okay, right on. So speaking of that fat, that base, we're going to add in, I mean, you can use either or, but uh, we've got coconut butter and we have cashews. Yeah, you can choose from the two. I love cashews because you can essentially make a nut milk with them without having to put it through a strainer. Yeah. It's not as fibrous as making an almond milk. Uh, so we can put in a couple tape, two tablespoons. You can really adjust this to your liking. If you want to have less calories, you could do one tablespoon, but two tablespoons is going to make it the most delicious. And then I'll add a couple teaspoons of coconut butter, but this can be optional or you could only add coconut butter. Um, coconut is great for just frothing it up. It's We'll turn this pretty much, it's going to taste like we have a coconut cashew milk base, which is going to be really frothy. Yeah, so as Madeline was saying, you're going to get that nice creamy beverage like a latte, mm -hmm. but the other thing that um, an elixir provides, you know, like you say, that fat content. Yeah. So it's it's not a full meal, but it's, it's very nourishing at the same Definitely, time. Definitely, yeah. And you can turn this into a meal if you want to. When you have fat, 
And when you also have protein from the collagen peptides, which we'll add into here. So the collagen peptides are, they're a collagen protein. There's about, per scoop, you get nine grams. So if you add two soups, you'll get 18 grams of protein. And I absolutely love these because I love collagen because when you add it to your drinks and elixirs, it doesn't get the protein powder texture. Right. You can put it in and you really won't taste it. It might make your drink taste a bit more creamy. Mm -hmm. It's not that good in water. It tastes right. kind of gross in water. But <laughs> when you add it right into your elixirs or a smoothie, you it won't taste like you have protein powder. No. So sometimes I add like a grass-fed whey or a vegan protein to smoothies, but it just totally changes the flavor yeah. so this is why one of the reasons but of course we get all these other benefits too yeah, yeah. absolutely so it's great it doesn't doesn't affect the flavor or the texture uh, and you're just getting that that good protein also good for hair skin and nails we yeah. have it from vital proteins and then we also have the light cellar brand both are uh, organic grass-fed all the things that you'd be looking for mm -hmm. uh, from such a product too yeah and it turns your elixir all into a meal you get fats proteins we're gonna get some carbs from a couple other things too and that's it. as a, a hormone balanced nutritionist i'm all about making sure that every single meal you consume has a balance of fat protein and a little bit of carbs if you want it to and this is going to keep your blood sugar stabilized uh, you can even have this first thing in the morning yeah. to have healthy hormones especially during the pms luteal time you have to have really good blood sugar stabilization so this is going to do it for us in this elixir totally and, and speaking of that adding that little bit of carbohydrate yeah uh, touch of sweetness but, but in a much uh, more balanced way than a lot of other sweeteners, we have what's called Lucuma powder. So if anyone has attended my classes, I usually use Lucuma in most of my elixirs. I consider it essential. It is this dried fruit from Peru that's really starchy mm -hmm. and it's sweet. But when we add it, it adds this creamy, delicious flavor that really adds a lot to it. Uh, so definitely Lucuma is great. And without being too sweet or too sugary, yeah. that's that's really the key there. Madeline's saying it's, it's a whole fruit, it's dried, you get all the fiber, all the minerals, um, vitamins that are in there in its whole food form. And it's not even sugary to begin with. Uh, it just has a nice, gentle, sweet flavor and mm -hmm. is very nutritious. And it's almost got this emulsifying like property too. Yeah, it mixes it really well together. Um, so you could just blend this up and have it like this, but we'll add our upgrades to this elixir to make it even more potent for you. And yeah. also some of the ingredients that I'm gonna add, if you notice that before your moon time, you have lots of mood moods going up and down, all these ingredients that I'm gonna talk about will help. So maca is one, it's a great, balancer to the entire endocrine system, but definitely helps uh, with any sort. Really good to have during the luteal phase of your cycle to relieve a lot of those discomforts that you might feel. Um, it's good also to promote support your liver health too. And especially if you notice you get bloating, like sore breasts, um, water retention, having some liver foods help a lot. So that's why I will add Shazandra berry powder, which is a tart, berry it has it's a really interesting berry from china but this one is actually grown in the u.s that's right organically yeah. grown massachusetts freeze-dried amazing amazing high quality uh, vibrant color and flavor to yeah. it as if, well if you're someone if you're looking for glowy skin you want the shizandra if you have it consistently it will make your eyes appear clearer because of the liver detoxifying properties and it will give you this amazing glow to your skin now let me guess. Yeah. You take it all the time. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love Shazam. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. It's the, I'm a huge proponent of it, always have been, just because of all the benefits. Yeah. Uh, a couple other options. So we added the extract powder, but you can also add this tincture from Harmonic Arts. This is a goji Shazandra tincture in alcohol. And you would just add a dropper in here. We're making the upgraded version, so we're yeah. just going to add everything to this. It's all going in, yeah. Uh, this is awesome, too, uh, because the alcohol extracts the healing properties. It also helps if you have brain fog. Great for a clear mind, totally. too. And the tincture you can carry around in your purse. You can take a little shot of it anytime, mm -hmm. and uh, it just, just goes straight into the system. It's, it's pretty instant effects yeah. that way. Mm-hmm. Then this one is a fun one too. The Alvisia yeah. flower drops. We call it, this is Shen drops. So they're really great for calming your mood. 
This can actually be used if anyone uses Rescue Remedy. This is right. an alternative to Rescue Remedy. If you're feeling like you need to calm down, just a couple drops can really help soothe you. Yeah. yeah. It's one of these herbs that uh, I've definitely fed to people and they go, wow, wait. You mm -hmm. know, like you feel it instantly in your heart. You feel this calming, this grounding. Uh, it's a fantastic herb. Yeah, just smelling it. So I'm only, you know, I'll add a whole dropper. Yeah. We're gonna, but you can just add a couple drops, try it out, see how you feel. Uh, a really interesting thing, I remember when we went down to the Ron Tea Garden training, yeah. who is the owner of this company, he said that the trees look like the trees from Avatar. Right. Like all the little the flowers, uh, it's really a magical looking tree. It really is, yeah. I've, I've actually slept under an Albuquerque tree. Oh my tree, gosh. And that was, quite an experience mm -hmm. so the one last thing again we are we're throwing everything in you can yeah. mix and match there's a certain base in terms of you choose your own tea we're focusing on the women's moon we've added in cashews and coconut butter you could do either or that gives us that fat that creaminess we've added in leucoma for its benefits its properties uh, the collagen peptides a little bit of maca both the tinctures and the shizandra. Yeah. Now, and now the rose water. So this will make a rose flavored elixir. It tastes really good with all of these herbs mixed together. Rose is great for calming the heart as well. So if you're feeling a bit like your nervous system is overstimulated, having some rose really helps. It also, rose is a great medicine too for menstrual cramping. We've, there's been also research that has found it really helps with the cramping. So having it before and during your moon time is very helpful. Um, you know, well, it's, yeah. it's one of those things that just helps you get in touch with your feminine, right? Yes. Even, even as a guy, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. So this is smelling delicious. Uh, right. Some other few things, though, you might want to add just a touch of sweetener. So you could add some stevia if you're going yeah. really low sugar, uh, or you could add a couple teaspoons of honey. So you could just blend it up, see how you like it. And then if you want it sweeter, you can add a little bit of honey in it as well. All right. Mm -hmm. This is the fun of the elixir crafting, yeah. right? All right. Okay. Yeah. Everyone has different sort of remedies of sweetness that they like so you can totally choose yeah. what you want all right let's blend this up Maybe we'll... all right voila and i'm gonna let you stick your nose in it first when okay you first crack it open you get all that goodness the infusion that smells really good mm, amazing yeah so cashews are awesome because if you're someone where you want to avoid just buying the store-bought almond milk, if you just make up your own cashew uh, milk, it's really so much easier. And even though cashews can be expensive, it's still way more cost-effective than buying those Tetra packs that have preservatives and yeah. all these things in them. All right. Hey, cheers. <laughs> cheers. I'm just going to have a sip of this, a taste, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to pass it off to my wife. Yes. <laughs> Even though there's nothing that can really influence the men's hormones, we don't have any estrogens. Um, Vitex does decrease. Yeah, the Vitex is for progesterone, but yeah. you know, this is great. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, it, you know, I don't even think you really need a sweetener. No, it, you could add perfect. it if you want, but it's delicious. Yeah, so there you have it. Customize it to your own palate, whatever you have on hand. You can go all the way, put it all in, mm -hmm. or just play with it. This is the fun, the wonder of an elixir. Thank you so much, Madeline, for yeah, being here. Thanks and, for having uh, me here. Totally. So yeah. give the uh, give the video a like, give it a share, and this is wonderful knowledge for us all to to really bring into our life. So thanks for being here to share that. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. <laughs>